All right, so one of the challenges we have with these Govi H5100 thermohygrometers is that they are not meant to be used in freezers or refrigerators or greenhouses or any other space that has, um, isn't climate controlled really. So they have no waterproofing on their circuit boards. And I was watching a big Clive video recently and he showed us how he um, protects some of his cir the circuit boards from the products he uses from moisture. And so I thought, well, that looks pretty interesting because I have experienced moisture damage with these. So this unit right here, I don't know if it's moisture damage, but it was sitting in a freezer and the battery went dead and I went to change the battery and it just didn't come back online and never came back to life. And I had another one sitting out in a hoop house and it got accidentally got harvested and put on the ground for a few days. Uh, obviously got some moisture ingress and right around its processor it was pretty corroded and so it was having it was struggling with syncing data now i've already done this process on number one here and we can do this on number two and number three but take some this is just cheap walmart uh, clear nail polish and now we're if you look at, before we get into that, if you look at the case, you'll see there's a spot. And that's that lines up with where the sensor is. So you can see when you take it out that that sensor is right there. So if you can get a close up, but you can see right there is the sensor. So already tested this out on number one and if you paint everything except that sensor it still works still gets checks the humidity and gets you the temperature and since I calibrated them all first before I did this and then I was able to put it all back together and test it out and thing and the readings were still the same within a reasonable margin of error tells me that this process did not adversely affect this device's ability to measure the temperatures. Now, you don't have to, I don't think you have to do anything on the back side of the board. I'm just covering the connections because uh well because I feel like it. Alright, so that's number two. We're gonna set number two up here. I'm gonna take number three apart here. Do the same with number three. We're gonna take them apart. It's pretty easy. There's a little place to put your nail right there. And you can pull it apart. Pull the battery out. And it's just two screws. Got some wiggle here. Sorry, this table is not the strongest, but hey. All right, so, and then they pop right out. And you can only put these back in one way. There's no way to put them in wrong. They, None of the plastics line up, so. Anyway, turn this one over. And we'll get this one covered up. Get a little close to that sensor for me. But anyway. And this should help with 
condensation, which is primarily what I'm worried about, is because my hue houses tend to run humidity around 98%. And so we end up getting moisture condensation inside those a lot. And so you can pretty easily get corrosion. Now these ones, yeah, you went out of shot there, I'm pretty sure. These ones, at least a couple of them are destined for my barn. So, but uh, anyway, so that's it. Putting them back together is just the same, it's just the reverse. You, I'll show you on this one over here that's non functional. You just uh, slide it back to in. There's two prongs that have to line up when there's two screw holes. Just put your screws back in. Put your battery back in. And then there's a notch there that goes around your uh, loop there. And you just press it back in and snap. You're done. Well, I hope that was informative and till next time.